Hi there, this is Roddy and McClellan Bagpipes. We are continuing on from our last video where we've been talking about some of the problems upcoming with uh, the woods that we typically use, African Blackwood and Cocobolo, most notably becoming more difficult to get and also being on the CITES Appendix 2 list, which requires permits for them and we'll be presenting with some problems. And so we spoke briefly about other materials. In that video we demoed a bagpipe made out of uh, Mexican Royal Ebony beautiful wood which is not an endangered species list and I think will be uh, a great wood for us to use in the future. Um, another idea, which is not a new idea but has been around for some time, is a Delrin bagpipe in Scotland. It's called polypenco, basically the same material. Most of you are probably using Delrin or polypenco chanters already and may be aware that some makers have made bagpipes from this material uh, in the past. So it's not a new idea. However, um, Delrin bagpipes have had a reputation for being kind of harsh perhaps, a little bit loud um, and also the plastic material does not absorb any moisture the way a blackwood or a wooden musical instrument will and so playing them in certain conditions or if you're a very wet blower is going to give you problems with moisture condensing in the drone bores, running down in here and uh, also in the stalks so your reeds are going to get wet pretty quickly. So. We have here a Delrin bagpipe that we've been developing over a number of months and um, we've made some innovations that I think you'd be interested in seeing what we've done with this in order to do two things. We want to soften up the sound to make it sound more like a wooden instrument and we also want to avoid some of the moisture buildup that these drones typically would have. And so the first thing that we've done is we have put a liner inside the drones. Now this material you may recognize it's a cellulose polymer, which is already in use by many of the reed makers. Almost all of the synthetic drone reeds are made of this type of material. It does two things. It um, absorbs moisture, which is, helps us with the moisture, but most importantly, it creates a great sound. The thing with the Delrin is it's extremely hard material, and the air column vibrating through it gets no sympathetic vibrations from the actual Delrin itself, unlike a wood drone which resonates in harmony with the air column. And so lining it with this material that the drone reeds are often made of, we know is going to give us a much mellower sound. And so what we've done is insulate the Delrin from the air column. So the air runs through this and it vibrates much more harmonically, more like a wood bagpipe. We have the liner in the drone tops. We also have it in these sections. This is kind of hard to show, but this section of the bagpipe also has a liner from top to bottom of the same material. Again, it's going to resonate much more harmonically with the air column and it also helps to absorb moisture. The other thing we've done with this drone is we thread the reed seats. The Delrin bagpipes typically drone reeds fall out really easily. In this one, the reed is threaded right into there and it's not going to fall out into the bag. The other thing that we have done is again this is more to help with moisture control is each stalk the three drone stalks come apart the top section will unscrew and inside here we have a cartridge and this cartridge again uses in the middle the same cellulose polymer material which is absorbent absorbs moisture and inside the cartridge as well is a silica gel, gel material, the same as you use in many of the water trap systems. And these will absorb considerable amount of moisture. They also help with the tone because of this same type of material that's in there. These can be taken out and dried as needed, just with a hair dryer or air dried. I wouldn't recommend microwave with these. Um, pop right back in when they're dry, the stock goes back together pretty quickly. and the bagpipe's ready to go again. So I think that what we have done with this instrument is take the Delrin bagpipe to the next level where it's much more resistant to moisture problems. It will absorb a lot more moisture than just a straightforward Delrin bagpipe, but more importantly, the cellulose sleeves coming up through the drones give us a sound quality so close to a wood bagpipe that I believe you'd be hard pressed to know that this is not a wooden bagpipe, it's in fact made of Delrin. So we have the qualities, the plus qualities of Delrin are it will not crack, it will not change shape, 
This bagpipe can be taken in any aircraft, it can be transported all around the world with no issues with any of the permitting that goes on. It's extremely durable and resistant, and, but in this instance now has a sound quality as good as any wooden bagpipe out there. Thank you.